Welcome to the studio. My name is Diane Bleck. I'm the founder of the Doodle Institute. And in this video, we're going to be doing lessons from the I Love Doodling workbook. All you need is some markers and some paper. You can easily download these worksheets at thedoodleinstitute.com and make sure you subscribe so you're the first to know when I release new lessons. Hello. So we're going to be doing these fun fruits and veggies. You can find them inside the book. So let's open our journals. So we just finished drawing cars and trucks. And before that, we did our fun at the beach. So today we're doing our fruits and veggies. And I'm super excited for this one because this is a really fun little lesson. It's great for teachers. It's great for kids. So let's start with our little apple. So our apple, we start with a wavy line at the top. Then you're gonna bring it down to the bottom, add a little wave at the bottom and come back and meet it at the top. Then you can add a little curved line, the letter V, and you can even add a little leaf and an accent. And there's our apple. Next, we're gonna do some cherries. And cherries is just two circles side by side. Then we're gonna bring up an upside down V for the stem, add a little curved line at the bottom of those, and then two leaves at the top. Next, we'll do a mango. So mango kind of has the same curved shape so but we're going to kind of do it on its side so it's a curved shape it's like a bean then it comes back up around we'll add a curved line coming out a curved line at the bottom and again a little leaf and then the next one we'll do starts with a little top of the pineapple we'll add the leaves of the pineapple at the top and then we'll do kind of a curve shape down below. And then we add the lines of our pineapple. Then we can go diagonal up as well. So let's color these in because coloring is really what makes it come together and makes it look like more of what it is. So let's start with red for our apple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some red to my cherries. I'm gonna leave just a little white highlight on each of them. Then I can add my green leaves. And I'm gonna go ahead and add green to my pineapple and my mango. The mango, I'm gonna paint a little bit of light yellow. And I said paint, I meant color. I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker yellow. And then you can even do like a little orange, sometimes a little green highlight on it. Next, we'll do our pineapple. And I'm gonna color in every other one, dark brown. And then I can add yellow to the other ones. And I'm gonna add a little drop shadow to them. So there's our little fruit so far. Next we're gonna do some grapes. So grapes is gonna start with a little couple of leaves at the top. Then we're gonna add a second little leaf. And then it's just a series of, what I do is I do bumps. So I get the shape of the grapes and then I go in and I add circles to the shapes. Like that. And then sometimes I like to add a little curly Q. And next we'll do a lemon. 
and we'll do a lime as well. So it starts with a big bump, then you put two little bitty bumps at the end. And then we can even add a little leaf to each of these, and then we'll color these in. So one of these I'll color yellow for a lemon. Oops. And then the next one I'll do my brighter green. And then I can add dark green to the leaves. And I'll add dark green to my grapes. And then I can color my grapes. And I'm going to do a couple that are light. And then the rest I can do a darker purple. And we'll add the drop shadow. So that's the first page of our fruits and veggies. Let's go to our next page and we're going to start filling in some more fruits and veggies. So we can add a little orange here. So we're going to add a circle. We're going to do that same little thing with our stem, a little curve underneath and add a leaf. We can add a pear. It's going to be skinnier on top, wider on bottom. Same thing for the top and the bottom. And we can even do a little strawberry, which you'll see is very similar to how I did our little pineapple. There's our little strawberry. And we can do a blueberry. So I did like a little crown shape, a circle, and a little accent. And let's add a little watermelon down here. So it's like a U shape. Then we do a second line and then we add our seeds. So let's color in our blueberry. Then I'm gonna do watermelon. Add a little green to our watermelon. Little green to our leaf up here. Some red for our strawberry. Add some little seeds. We can add orange. And then I'm gonna do a dark green on my pear and then a light green on the shape of the pear. So now I have a whole page of little fruits. If we wanted, we could add a banana. There's our little banana. <laughs> I'll add a little brown for the stem. It's fun just filling the page. Then I'm going to do a small little watermelon. I'm going to add that same little curly cute, and then I'm just going to add some stripes to the watermelon. And then we just color in every other stripe. Like that. And we'll add some drop shadows. And we can go ahead and add our border. I'm gonna put a little heart in the corner, bring down my line, add my little corner here, and then come across the bottom. And there's our first half of our page. And next we're ready to do some veggies. Veggies are a little bit bigger. Some of them that we're gonna to draw today so let's start with some carrots. Carrots, 
Carrots are all kinds of shapes. So we're just going to do kind of like a rounded tip and then it can kind of be wiggly and come down to a point. And we can even draw a couple of them. Just like that. And then I'm going to add some of the green leaves at the top of our carrots. We can do some fun little mushrooms. And mushrooms can come in all different sizes as well. We can do an eggplant. So an eggplant starts with a little rectangle. We're going to bring down the top of the leaves on it. It's kind of like our mango. We're going to do kind of a bean shape and come back. There's our eggplant. We can do an onion, which is similar to our blueberry. And it's also similar to our um, watermelon and that we're just gonna add a few little details to it, like some stripes. And then next we'll do an artichoke. So the artichoke curved line down from that point, bring another curved line down, bring down like a little bumpy line and then the bottom of our artichoke. And then the thing about artichokes is they have these little these little leaves. So we're gonna draw the little leaves going up. Kind of like we got the outside shape of our grapes first, and then we filled it in with more shapes. So there's our artichoke. And then we can do some celery. So we've got our celery, we can draw a couple little stalks of celery. We'll color those in. We can do our cauliflower, which is kind of like just big, bumpy, like a cloud. Bring down some green little leaves and then some stalks coming down. Like that. And guess what? Our broccoli looks just very similar. Add a little bumpy cloud, bring down a couple of V's, and then you're gonna connect them all to one big stalk for our broccoli. We can do a potato, which is another little bean shape. And then we just add some details to our potato. We can do some asparagus. So start with just a couple wavy lines and then a few bumps at the top. Add a few little accents, kind of like our carrot. Wavy line down, some line accents. And there we have some of our veggies. You can also do like a leaf for the lettuce. And you're just gonna add some details and then maybe add another one another one on this side. So fun. Okay, I kind of got lost in, in drawing. We got some coloring to do. So I'm gonna start with, because I had purple in my hand, I'm gonna start with my eggplant. And I can even do like a deep purpley red onion. And then we can add some details to our artichoke. I'm going to do a little bit of light and dark green on this one. We can color in our carrots. Color in their leaves. The artichoke, our celery. I'm gonna kind of mix it up light and dark green for our celery. And the broccoli, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do light, light green on the bottom for the broccoli. And then I'm gonna do a nice 
dark green for the top with broccoli. And I love seeing all the ways that you incorporate these doodles into your lessons, into your classroom, into organizing your kitchen even. It's always fun to see them. There's our little potato. We're gonna do the same thing, a little light green here, kind of like our broccoli. I'm gonna add light green up here. And I left a little bit of, here I'll show you. Let's color this in first. We'll color in our dark green here. And our dark green here. And then I'm just gonna add some little details just kind of wherever on my lettuce. And then our cauliflower, I'm just gonna add a little bit of light yellow. And then our mushrooms, we can do our mushrooms. You could do light brown marshmallows, uh, marshmallows, haha. -ha. Mushrooms. And now we can do their outlines, their drop shadows. And now you've just added a whole page of fruits and veggies to your journal. You can come back and look at this journal later whenever you're looking for references of how to draw something. That's the nice thing about keeping a journal and a sketchbook is you can kind of see like, how would I draw that? And then you can go look at a reference of what you've drawn. We'll add the little border. And then I like to add, see how there's kind of this white space? The way I fill that in is I just add some little colorful dots to kind of pull it all together. I don't overthink where they're going. Just kind of let my mind's eye find a little blank space and fill it in. And then it just, for me, it just pulls the whole page together. Maybe some light purple ones. So fun how it all comes together. I love doing um, these presentations with you. We've done cars and trucks and I just want